all right guys welcome back to my channel this is angel with angel spiritual messages this is going to be a love reading for the sign of sagittarius for the month of january 2023 um also guys i will be running a contest um for the end of january where i will be giving a free no contact love reading to one of each of the zodiac signs so if you are interested in that then please put in the comment section i want to be entered into the contest like you have to subscribe and you also have to turn on your notifications because i will be responding to you in um the comment section i will ask that you go to my email address in the description box so that you know it's me i will not send you anywhere else except you sending me an email in the description box um claiming your free reading um and free means free there is no cost to it except for you to like share and subscribe and turn on your notifications so i'll go ahead and get right into it um cross watchers you are welcome but please make sure that you are nice in the comments um again this is a reading for sag and all sag placements and for people that are in contact not in contact um if it doesn't resonate please check your other placements if i haven't already said that let's get started um spirit what do you have for sag and sag's person um give me the greatest and highest good um, messages for this situation spirit if you would i need three oracles three moonology oracles guys if you want to know what um cards i am using um, then please check my description box. All of the cards are located there. Okay. Um, there's a few, so I'm going to go ahead and take them all because apparently they're all very important. The first one, a, um, fairy climax approaches a full moon in Aries. So that means that if it, this has been a situation where you have been stagnant with this person, then apparently this person is going to make a reappearance. Um, this situation is about to get stirred up again. Um, and you will realize that because you'll be able to feel it as well. It's not something that is going to be mistaken. You'll be able to feel the fact that this person is returning. Okay. Uh, the next card is going to be a new start is coming a new moon. So yeah, like I said, um, a fury climax is approaching, um, um, and a new start is coming. So just watch out guys. This is um, what spirit is saying is happening with you and this person that you are watching this reading for. Um, the next card, the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. So spirit is basically saying that this cycle um, that has been once tough for you um, and this person is about to um, change. So the tough cycle is about to end. Okay. The next message is your commitment is being tested. So spirit is saying this has been a test. Are you going to go the distance? Or are you going to break and run? Is this something that you truly want? I'm almost sure you tried to manifest this situation and spirit is basically saying, um, it, your commitment is being tested. So, t uh, spirit wants to know, do you really want this situation? Um, next card, um, show the world, the real, your real self or show the world the real you same thing but what i get with this card is that you've been hiding yourself from um expressing truly who you are and when it comes to relationships it's going to be very important that you let people know exactly who you are because later on down the line when the real you comes out then this person is going to be very, very disappointed. So please make sure that you are in a relationship where you can be completely yourself because it's nothing like loving and being in love with someone that you can be completely yourself with. I know in the beginning, we always want to send our representatives, but spirit is saying, cut out the representative and show this person the real you. Okay. They're going to love you regardless. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and pull, pull some, um, angel insult. So, uh, I don't know what is wrong with me today. I think I had too much coffee. I'm going to go ahead and pull the angel answer so Oracle cards to try to get a little bit more information for you, Sag and your person. Yeah. I feel like I'm, blah, 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 but that's just all the coffee I had. I had like three cups of coffee today um can i get more information for sag and their person guys just bear with me i want to make sure i get you guys the messages that you need all right 
Spirit, give me more clarity for Sag and the person that they're watching this reading for. This is a love reading for January 2023. All right. Oh, well, there it is. All right, we'll take them. All right. Um, so you have, first off, you're ready. You are ready for this situation. You are, have all the makings of making this situation work is what spirit is saying. You are ready for the road ahead. So whatever comes out of this situation, you are ready for it. Okay. Um, the next card is going to be abundance. So there's going to be abundance in this situation. So um, that may be um, financial abundance. That may be love. That may be um, self-worth. Abundance is a whole lot of things. So just understand that abundance is coming from this situation. Okay. Next is no. So if you wanted to know if this situation was over with, Spirit is saying, no, the situation is not over with. There's new cycles and your commitment is being tested. So no, the situation is not over with. I got one more and it is no need to worry. So spirit is basically giving you the key answers on what you need to know with regard to this situation and your person. I'm going to go ahead and pull some tarot on it and try to give you a little bit more clarification. Um, this is going to be for Sag and the person that Sag is watching this video for. Spirit, if you would please give me more clarification for Sag. And on the split, the Page of Swords and the Two of Cups, this person is watching you and you both have a, a mutual energy of wanting to pour into each other's cups. All right, let's see, Sag. What does Spirit have to say? I'm going to move this deck back because I'm going to need to put a... Um, card there all right give me there's some that are flipped but i need to turn them around and no these are not going to be your cards <laughs> because spirit will give me the cards that they want me to have for you all right one more and then i'm gonna cut the deck all right Spirit said one more time. Okay. Something was wrong with that. Spirit didn't like it. All right. Let me go ahead and cut the deck. All right. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the four of swords. So this is the um, highlighted message for this reading. You are in the four of swords energy. And so is this person. Okay. Okay. So um, let me get more information on um, this love reading for Sagittarius and the person that they are watching this reading for spirit. There we go. What I'm going to do, Sag, is I'm going to put you over here on the left, the mutual energy of this relationship in the middle and your person on the right hand side. So page of wands, you want to uh, make a small gesture uh, to this person, um, you, but you're in your head about it. You're definitely in your head about it. I don't know exactly why as of right now, but you are thinking about this situation constantly. And so is this other person. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get the mutual energy. The eight of wands. You both want to um, move in very quickly and have a conversation with each other. This is a fast moving energy. This is wands energy. This is passion. This is desire. This is we want to be able to communicate with each other and um, lay out um, the truth, lay out how we feel. This is mutual. So this is something that your person wants as well. Give me Sag's person over here, spirit. The death card. So they want to put a death to all of the chaos that may have been happening previously um, in this situation with you. They're saying, I want to start over. They want to birth something new. So death brings on new. Okay. Just keep in mind this death card may be a Scorpio. So you may be dealing with the Scorpio with regard to the person you're watching this video for. Give me um, more energy for um, Sag spirit. The Queen of Wands, you are in your Queen of Wands energy. Um, you are looking good. You are feeling good. You have everything together. You know exactly what you want. You're not wavering on your decision. 
this person is the person that you want and you will stand for nothing less you are claiming this person you're sitting here uh, just put together just as good and as well as you should be um, because you know your power and you know your worth so you are sitting here on your throne looking amazing and expecting to have a counterpart to match you give me the mutual energy the four of pentacles you both are holding back you both are holding on to um things very close to your chest you're not letting each other in and I would like to know why, but I think we're going to find out as I continue to move through this reading. But yes, this is the mutual energy. You both are holding on as if you don't trust each other. Give me one um, card over here for um, Sag's person. The five of pentacles. This person feels like you have left them out in the cold. They feel like without you, they are sad. They are sad about the fact that you guys don't communicate the way you used to. Communication may have slowed down. Um, you guys are just not where you used to be in this relationship. And this person is saddened by it. Okay. Give me one more for Sag's energy over here, spirit. The King of Swords. Yeah, this person has definitely possibly done something that rubbed you the wrong way. They may have said something or done something that made you think this may not be the person for me. You're in this King of Swords energy and you're saying, look, I want to be upfront. I want to be honest. I want the truth. I want um, what I want. And I expect you to um, be forthcoming and righteous in the way that you approach me and if you can't then i don't want anything at all that is the king of swords the king of swords is in their energy they have um the makings of being very very solid and they are and they will not accept anyone who's not okay give me the beating heart of this reading the king of pentacles the king of pentacles so um with this uh, king of swords this person may be a gemini libra or aquarius this king of pentacles may be a taurus virgo and or capricorn um the queen of wands could be aries leo and or sagittarius okay so don't have to be but that could be the signs in which you are dealing with um, the mutual energy for, for the both of you is the king of pentacles. That means you're both solid. That means you both have your act together when it comes to your stability. That means you, neither one of you need each other at all. Not by any stretch of the imagination. But you would like each other, but you don't need each other. You're good on your own as an individual. But you would really like to invest in this situation with each other. Give me one on um, Sag's person the tower yeah there was a tower moment something happened in this situation okay something definitely happened in this situation and i'm going to tell you what i think is going on because i'm an intuitive reader this person that you're dealing with sag feels that you have a lot of options and i'm going to tell you why they feel you have a lot of options because you were originally in this queen of wands energy um, and this person sees you as a very highly attractive person and um, with that being said they are putting themselves out in the cold overthinking the fact that you may be involved with someone else and i think they may have been insecure in that fact which had strove a wedge between you two because they accused you of some things that you did not do and it created this tower moment for you guys okay so give me one more on the page of wands for sag the six of cups this is a person that you've dealt with in your past this is definitely a past person that you're dealing with right now. So you may have decided to take back an ex and give it one last try, but they don't believe in their heart. They do not believe that you are not seeing someone else. Okay. They are in their heads about it. They cannot um, get over it. And I don't think you've given them any reason to believe that you just happen to be a very attractive person holding your own. And this person is thinking, Hey, I, I don't know. You might be dealing with somebody else, but I don't see anything on the board that supports that this person may just be in their heads. Um, I'll let you know if I see it on this eight of wands, give me a clarifier, please spirit, the three of cups, 
the three of cups so yes okay here's the thing with this three of cups in the heart beat, beating heart of this reading in this the mutual energy this person is thinking sag that either you are partying too much or you're thinking you both are thinking that each other parties too much or that there may be a third party involved in this situation um and i think that is what has you both in this four of pentacles energy here okay so give me one more on this death card for sag's person the seven of swords yep 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 this person is the person who has been betraying you lying cheating and stealing so it's not you it's them they may be blaming you but it's definitely not you it is definitely them that is with this third party uh, and because they are doing it they are rightfully accusing you of doing it when you have done no such thing give me one more card to clarify on this queen of wands the ace of wands you want a new beginning with this person you want a new beginning with this person okay but don't discount the fact that you're holding stuff close to your chest because you don't believe or trust this person give me one on the mutual energy of this four of pentacles the ten of wands yep it's been a hard road it's been a hard road because you know that this person has been lying you know that this person has been cheating you have left them before because of it put them out in the cold and created a whole tower moment because you know that they were cheating okay give me one on the five of pentacles the hermit mode this person is in their hermit mode they're trying to think of how they can get back in your good graces although they know that they still have this third party situation going on sag um just keep in mind this hermit um, may be a virgo that you're dealing with okay um but it doesn't have to be Give me one card on this king of swords and that explains why this king of swords is in this position because you're saying i want the whole truth nothing but the truth or i'm not dealing with you because you've been through this cycle with this person before there's a six of pentacles is saying this is a past person the ten of wands saying that it has happened before you're carrying these burdens they have this third party here you are both here in the mutual energy being concerned about this third party but what this person doesn't like is now you are out doing you and having fun and celebrating with your friends now they want to accuse you of cheating as well and that just isn't the case okay give me one card on this king of swords cross watchers and sages reverse these roles as you need be don't put all these unlikes or uh dislikes on this video because i just told you to reverse the roles give me one on this king of swords the ace of pentacles you do want a new beginning with them you want a fresh start of something solid and something committed okay you really really do give me the beating heart of this situation for the ace the eight of cups you're both thinking about whether or not you should walk away from this situation. This person feels like they can't trust you because they cheated on you and they think that you're doing it to them. You don't know if you can trust them because they cheated on you and now they want to come back. So you both are in this eight of cups energy trying to figure out, should I stay or should I go? Okay. Give me three cards on this tower. Let me know what the possible outcome would be for Sag and this person. One five of wands two the hangman and three the six of pentacles all right and at the bottom of the deck the seven of wands okay so let me get to these cards right here so what's going to end up happening is this person is in their head and because they're in their head and you're in your head you both are in your head this is mutual right here this outcome is mutual you both want the six of pentacles but you're both in your heads and when you get together all y'all do is fight when y'all try to bring this situation together okay so what i'm seeing happening with the situation is if you guys cannot get to a place of growing up and sitting down and having an adult conversation where both of you can lay all cards out on the table and sag not necessarily you because i don't see anything that you did wrong except out here living your best life with your friends and being solid and stable looking for somebody to have something serious with but you guys are you're defending yourselves against each other 
You're, you, you guys are going to have to drop these wands and start communicating and having a grown up adult conversation. Remember, you guys are all in your heads. You probably are making up things that are not happening with the other person, but this person did deceive you. So you're going to have to ask that they come in and that they speak the truth to you. And you're going to have to weigh in on whether or not that's something that you want to pursue. Um, this is what I have for you, Sag, on your January reading with your person. I hope this helps you. Um, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you so much.